Hello everyone, my name is Vic of US Market Biz and in this video I am going to share with you a very high potential coin and I'm also going to share with you um, its website also along with it are its community built modules okay and uh, their social media links alright so without further ado let's begin so this is the name of the token so it's called DAB coin so currently it's ranked 656 in coin market cap as you can see here, here's its market cap, its volume, its circulating supply, and its total supply. So it's not that bad. So you can get this token at these exchanges also. So these are Bitforex, LA token, Bilaxi, IDAX, HIT, and HIT BTC. Okay. So let's go to its website so we can understand further what the this token is so to access its website you can click website here or you can type directly at your URL bar dab that network right so let's wait for it to load here it is okay so um, it is the coin of transportation so DAO it's decentralized autonomous vehicles it's a blockchain based transportation protocol that is enabling a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer transportation global transportation network right so uh, they are building a decentralized infrastructure to revolutionize the transportation industry on the blockchain you can access um, you can view their overview here at their website or you can go directly to their YouTube channel um, which is the network okay to view this uh, overview All right and you can also view there that there is a first Australian company that company that is utilizing the DAB protocol for shipping and logistics okay so here are their social media links okay so they have their telegram their cacao talk um, their Twitter, follow their Twitter at DAB Network, their GitHub. So if you're a developer and you want to contribute to the DAB community, since DAB is an open source software, you can go to GitHub and contribute there. Subscribe at their YouTube channel, their LinkedIn, their Reddit, their Facebook, and their Medium. Okay, so DAB's protocol allows anyone to utilize transportation services or put their own manned or autonomous vehicles on the network, creating a decentralized peer to peer transportation ecosystem. Okay, so their technology. So, DAB is a framework of open source software, open source hardware, and a free decentralized marketplace where anyone can buy and sell autonomous transportation services. So, their technology consists of three major components. So, these are decentralized discovery communication protocol and trustless cooperation tools so you can access this one at, their, at these three um, exchange um, you can um, see the definition here also at their website rather okay so let's um, check their community belt modules or their protocols so let's just wait for it to load here it is so community built modules so the first one is the drone charging network so this one is where drones are the DAB connects drones and charging stations on an open network where they can buy and sell charging services using DAB tokens so currently this has been this is being offered in northern italy with five charging stations as and is has been made possible by one of their alliance members so as you can see here in the app um, you can see uh, the map and you can see the places where you can charge your drone so this is very very important because we'll never know when we forgot to charge our drone and then we go out so this is very very important so the next one is the drone flight planning so this one is where drones pass the waypoints of their server of their planned trip and the road planner means to offer a service in exchange for DAB tokens 
question. Once a mission has been awarded, the service provider returns a list of coordinates to fly through so that the drone can reach its destination safely. This flight plan takes into consideration environmental, topographical, and regulatory considerations. So this has been made possible by one of their last member also and is currently offered in Nevada, USA. So as you can see, um, this is very very important also since you can monitor your drone here um, using your app or your phone or your computer and you'll know where, where your drone is. So this is very very important also. The next one is very uh, is very interesting also. So it's a drone missions app. So it's fair. So the missions is the first app to build an app built to showcase the DAV ecosystem. Um, it's, it connects users looking to ship packages with autonomous drones, users request drone services, and drones bid for those services. And the trust desk operation is enabled by using the blockchain. So currently there's an inter integration with the first drone partner, Copter Express. So this is very, very interesting. As you can see, we can use drones to ship our packages. So we'll just have to use an app and then the drones will bid for those services and then they will deliver our package so isn't it interesting so that's very very nice the next one is more like uh, more on their software part so their DAV command line interface so right now there's a full functioning test nest, test net and identity generation already used by foundation projects work on connecting the registration functionality with the identity smart contract is in progress the next one is the DAV developer portal so right now, there's some multiple communication protocols written and a user guide for their CLI tools is now available. The next one is the Block Explorer. So work is underway to patch the Block Explorer, enabling it to launch automatically from the DAV CLI tools. Their mission control. So the fully there's a fully working and uh, they're fully working for running simulated environments with drone deliveries. Currently being expanded to support the vehicles of the first partners. So the mission control serves as the discovery and communication layer that connects and keeps track of the vehicles, users, and services. Okay. So the next one is the autonomous boat. So autonomous boat, the autonomous boat is named Nemo. So Nemo will demonstrate true autonomy by spending money to take care of its own needs and allowing it to operate independently for long periods at sea. So here's Nemo at the right side. So Nemo, when Nemo runs low in energy, it connects to the DAV network, I'll purchase and pay for charging services with DAV tokens and after it charges, head back to sea. So isn't it interesting also? So the, the boat is ready. Uh, the, what they're doing right now is that they're working on the onboard computer and its final integration with the DAV network is in progress. So the next one is also very, very um, useful or interesting. So it's a search and rescue robot. So it's where a robot will bid for missions to locate drones that have lost contact with their owners and go to their last known location and then using its onboard lighter and computer vision, find them and send back their exact coordinates. So Rasmus computer vision. Algorithms are being updated right now to support identifying drones. So this is very, very important because sometimes we lost contact with our drones and we have to find it and this one will just do our part so the robot a search and rescue robot so this is very very nice so they're partnering with Hisarian a robotics prototyping company so if you want to learn about Rossbot you can just click learn more about Rossbot alright so let's check this one Okay, so those are the um, community built modules on the DAV protocol. So it will redirect us to this one, Rossbot. Okay, so let's wait for it to load so that we can check. Um, okay, so while waiting, let's proceed to the main website. So here we can see the roadmap. 
their white paper is downloadable here at their website also right so their team of advisors so as you can see they're from very renowned companies okay right so their main team and since tabs and open source software you can find it here also their open source contributors also their DAV Alliance so their DAV Alliance brings back to brings together members of the transportation industry so that they may collaborate on standards and innovations for a global decentralized network so you can also see here um, the benefits of joining their alliance and also the form where you can be part of their alliance so here it is Rossbot here it is robot development made simple Rossbot here it is okay So their Dive Alliance. So here are the benefits of their Dive Alliance. So shared knowledge and influence. Members of the Dive Alliance benefit from shared knowledge and experience amongst members, but also gain value from an interest group that could have greater ability to influence policy and mindset regarding autonomous vehicles across jurisdictions. Blockchain technology and the Dive protocol. Access to the latest technology, innovations, trends, and learnings within the blockchain industry from leading technologists, experts, and strategists. Access to blockchain applications and the DAV protocol specific, specific to the future of transportation. Okay, so as you can see, their um, members will be at the forefront of decentralized transportation and autonomous vehicle adoption by the mainstream. Here are their member members. Here, right. Okay, so you, if you want to become part of their alliance, just fill out the form here. And this was uh, this has been uh, this was what I've been talking about. So if you're a developer, and if you want to contribute on the Dev software, you can join their GitHub community. Okay, so let's scroll down their um, invitation to their Telegram group, their YouTube channel, some facts about Dev. Okay. So I think that's it. So DAV coin. So I think you already understood what DAV is. So they're, they're focusing on the transportation protocol. So if I were you, I would include DAV at uh, in your research list or in your portfolio if you already understood it or if you already liked it. So DAV coin. So. Okay, guys, before I go, I just want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. And everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself, okay? So guys, this has been Vic once again. Um, okay. So, Alright. So this has been Vic once again. Signing off. Bye-bye.